Hi, I'm Professor E. Welcome to the Robot Program. In this episode, we'll show you how to control your Revolution Adventure Bot using the mobile app. Let's join DJ in the studio to learn how. You don't have to use the PC software to control your robot. You can also use other devices. DJ, why don't you tell us about some of those other options? Most definitely. So here I have some Android devices, and I also have my personal iPhone, which we're going to be using for this demo. You can use Android or iOS. The same app and the same features are in both devices. Tablets or phones. Tablets or phones. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is visit your App Store. On Android, obviously, Google Play. On iOS, the Apple App Store. And we're going to search for Easy Robot. There it is and select and download Easy Builder and install it to your device. Once installed, select Open. You're presented with the Easy Builder Terms of Use. You're only going to see this the first time you load the app, so scroll down after you read all of the bullet points and choose I agree. Now this is the main menu for the Easy Builder. We are going to set up our preferences for the account we registered on the Easy Robot website. So you have to log in. and choose Save. If your credentials are successfully authenticated, you'll get a little pop-up. Select OK. We're going to install the AdventureBot app into the Easy Builder app. We're going to do that using the Public Easy Cloud Apps button. Here you can locate and filter for specific apps. We're going to use the default settings and just press Search. There are over 3,000 apps created for Easy Builder and Easy Robots in our App Store. This is the, by selecting the default values, all of the default projects for Easy Robots created by Easy Robot. However, you see my name, DJ Schurz. I'm the Robot Overlord. So all of the Easy Robot apps will have my name associated with them. Scroll around and find AdventureBot. Select it and download and install. So this is the default robot app for AdventureBot. You got it. Why don't you turn the robot on? And we're using a freshly charged robot. And we will choose the connect button and then select your Wi-Fi network. And visit settings and scroll to your Wi-Fi network list and look for your adventure bot. We've named our adventure bot EasyBV4. We'll select that and return back to Easy Builder. Back in Easy Builder, push the connect button and you connect it to your adventure bot. Push back and you see your adventure bot app is located here. Now, we can do a bunch of different things in here. We can have the robot walk, drive forward, turn around. <laughs> so fast. So much, it's so much fun. There's also a lot of different sounds you can play. For example, I like this sound a lot. That's my favorite. It's like he's rolling the streets of Italy. Doo -doo. And you have a lot of the sounds like horns. <laughs> and oh, there's also the ability to track colors using AdventureBot. Let's really see it. Neat. Let's do that. So let's turn him around. Now, I'm turning around for two reasons. One, I want him facing me because the camera, of course, is facing me because we're going to use an object he's going to track. But additionally, on the other side of the, of the desk here are all the studio lights, which is really bright. And if the robot is trying to track an object with bright light behind it, imagine trying to read a book while staring at the sun. It's going to be hard for your eyes to focus. You want the sun behind your robot, not in front of it. You bet. So this is the football that we use. It's red for tracking on all of the robots. And that's our default tracking color. Default color tracking is red. The reason why is red is very rare in nature, as well as you won't be wearing red very often. And if you are, well, the robot's going to track you. So it's a good thing you're wearing a blue shirt. It is. So I'm going to choose in the menu here. From no tracking, I'm going to choose movement tracking red. And put the robot down. And there we go. And now he's tracking the color. He knows you have a red ball. That's right. He can see it and he's driving towards it every time. <laughs> That's great. 
<laughs> oh, so much fun. And then to turn it off, of course, put the ball away and then select no tracking. And now you can drive them around as normal. And in the future, we'll show you how to program your robot so that it'll recognize colors other than red. But for now, we go with the default. Yeah, default color red. You can continue to explore the mobile app on your own. And in future episodes, we'll show you more things you can do with your adventure bot. In this episode, we showed you how to use the mobile application to control your Revolution Adventure Bot. Remember, we always want to start with a freshly charged robot. You can use the mobile application on any Android or iOS based device, from tablets to mobile phones. Download the Easy Builder app from your respective App Store. When you open the application, agree to the terms of use and log in using your Easy Robot account. You're then going to choose which of the robot apps you want to download to control your robot. There are over 3,000 different robot apps within the software. We're using apps within apps. So within the Easy Builder application, you can download from all of the different Easy Robot apps. In this case, you're going to download the default Adventure Bot app to control your Adventure Bot. Once you've loaded the default Adventure Bot app, you can use the predetermined actions to control his movement, you can use the arrow keys, and you can even build your own program using RoboScratch or Blockly. There are lots of options to explore, including color tracking. Thanks for watching this episode, and we'll see you next time. True or false, robot apps can be downloaded from within the Easy Builder app. How does the mobile app connect to a robot? What two programming workspaces can be accessed via the hamburger menu button? Find the answers at therobotprogram.com.